7. Dr. Erica joins us in studio this morning. Now, we're talking about the newest aspirin recommendations. I'm sure some people are confused, so you're here to clear all that up. How can you tell? Is aspirin for me? Okay, good question. So we've been having a lot of questions about this. It's been all over the news lately. Here's kind of the summary of where this all comes from. Um, we used to just, you know, recommend that patient take an aspirin because, hey, that might help prevent your heart attack or their stroke. And then they start to look, is that really a good guideline or is there harm to that? So in the end of last year, there were three giant studies, giant studies meaning 14 to 19,000 people in each study looking at this with aspirin versus placebo on whether or not there was a benefit to preventing a first heart attack, stroke, um, vascular event mm -hmm. compared to um, placebo if you're not on the aspirin. And the first study pretty much showed that it was about equal and there was no real benefit to the aspirin, but there were a lot of GI bleeds from it. The second study showed that um, was in diabetics, which is a high risk group, and there was maybe a little bit decrease in the vascular events in that group, but there was again a, a bigger increase in the GI bleeds in the third group, mm -hmm. which was people 65 to 70 and older, so that they're, who are otherwise healthy. So that there was no, um, actually more people died in the aspirin group than in the placebo group. Mm -hmm. So that fast forwards to now, where last weekend the American Car College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association came out with updated guidelines, what to tell people to do in this mm -hmm. situation. And based on these huge studies that kind of rocked our world in terms of recommending and taking aspirin, they said if you have not already had a heart attack or a stroke, and you are not necessarily at you know, really high risk for that. And certainly if you're over 70 or certainly if you have any increased risk for GI bleed, mm -hmm. there's no indication that aspirin is gonna be the best in your best interest. Um, and then it also said that if you're between the ages of 40 and 70 but have a really high risk of cardiovascular disease, you can talk to your doctor about whether or not you would be someone that would benefit from that. So my take home points that I just want people to leave with is number one, don't do anything without talking to your doctor. There may be a, another reason why your doctor has you on an aspirin. Number two, um, you know, if you um, already have had your heart attack or stroke, this is not talking about you. You have to be on an aspirin. This yeah, is life-saving for you. This is for people that have not already had one, um, even if they may have some risk factors for one. Number three, um, you know, you may be that person who's been taking it and you actually are putting yourself at a little bit more risk of a GI bleed. So mm -hmm. talk to your doctor of whether that's right for you. And now we're probably finding out that it's the healthy lifestyle, the diet, the exercise, being on these great new cholesterol medicines that we have, yes. getting your blood pressure controlled, getting your blood sugar controlled, not smoking, that's really making the difference in terms of preventing that first heart attack or stroke and not necessarily the aspirin that people are taking. All right, well, Dr. Erica, thank you so much for clearing the air on that. We appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back after this break.